So in the last video, we have seen how to return this list, right? In fact, let me just run this code once again, just to show you what we have done in the last session. So let me just run it as run on server. Uh, let's say next and click on finish. So by the time it runs, uh, it's already in running state. Let me just say, uh, okay, demo rest. We have to mention web API, if you remember, right? And then we have to request for the aliens. I will say aliens and you can see we are getting one alien. What I'm expecting now is it should return multiple aliens, right? So let's say if I create one more object here. So the way we have Naveen here, and uh, let me just copy that. Let's paste it here. And this time we'll go for A2 and let's assign this is A2 and A2. Let's, let's go for a different name. Let's say the name is Arati here and let's say the value is let's say 70. So we got Naveen 60 point, Arati 70 points. And now I want to return a list. I want to return a list. So what I will do here is I will say list of alien. I will say aliens equal to and I will say new add a list or maybe I can simply say add is dot as list. We do we do have these two objects, right? So we can say a1 comma a2 and we got our list. Let's let me import the package for list and uh, let me just do that. Oh, what's happening? It is building automatically. Let's say control shift O and yeah we got our list right now once we got a list let's return a list so instead of returning a uh, a1 okay i should be taking this window somewhere down right it will be better at least i will not be getting that pop-up every time okay so instead of returning a uh, alien a1 i want to return a uh, aliens right so i want to return a list of aliens but the problem is here also we have to mention it is a list of alien right and now everything is set up i i think it will work now uh okay so i have to restart my server let me just do that and i don't have a server tab here let's say oh it's getting, getting restarted automatically let's go back to firefox and now if i say aliens now that makes sense right you can see we are fetching aliens and we got two aliens we got alien and we got alien so we got the first alien as naveen second alien as arti and that's the beauty about xml right so we are only seeing now how to fetch list of aliens but what about if you want to uh, fetch only one one object now maybe i don't want to fetch all the aliens and the better name for, for this would be get aliens okay so let's say i don't want to fetch the uh, all the aliens i want to be very specific now i want to fetch the first alien with uh, name naveen i want to fetch an alien with name arti something like this if i say aliens slash naveen it should return Naveen, if I say uh, Aarti, it should return Aarti, but it's not working now. How exactly it will work, that we'll see in the coming video. We'll also see how to create a resource. I, I want to create a new resource. And there's one more thing, you know. Normally what happens is you get this data from the database. And as you can see, we are creating our own resource here statically. So it will also see how to create a separate class which will give me this object. Maybe a demo, what you say, a dummy database or maybe a mock database we can call it as. So yeah, we'll see that in the coming video. So I hope you're enjoying this session, but make sure that you subscribe to the channel and do share this with video with your friends. That's it.